Hey there, this is Thomas with Lifter LMS. Um, I just showed you how to install Lifter LMS Gravity Forms. Um, now we're going to take a look at what you can do with Lifter LMS and Gravity Forms. So we've got everything installed here. Uh, we're going to first go over and create a new form. Um, so we'll just call this uh, Lesson Form. We'll put a little Lauren Ipsum in the description there. Uh, we'll move on. I'm not going to do a tutorial on how Gravity Forms itself works, but we're just going to throw some, some different fields over into this form. Um, just for fun, we'll do a checkbox one, two. Uh, and then we're going to make this one required uh, because I want to show you some validation that we can do later. So the base functionality of this is that we're going to be able to now embed this, this form onto a Lifter LMS lesson. And the, the student will not be able to mark the lesson as complete um, until this form has been successfully, successfully submitted. So that mark and complete button will actually uh, go away in favor um, of the, the form, uh, the gravity form button. So if we wanted to say, make that button say uh, something else like, uh, you know, submit data uh, or just submit, I guess. Um, that will be displayed now instead of that mark is complete button. Um, so it's some pretty basic functionality, but it's going to unlock the full power of Gravity Forms where you could do some in in interesting things like, say, create quizzes um, using Gravity Forms. You could um, potentially charge per lesson by putting a form at the conclusion of every lesson. Um, where they can't move on to the next lesson until they, they make a payment using one of the Gravity Form uh, payment add-ons. Um, and the sky's really the limit. We'll let you guys figure out how you want to use this. Um, but here's some just base things that you could do off the cuff. Um, all your confirmations are going to be displayed. Um, you could do redirects if you want. Um, if you don't set up a redirect, Lifter LMS is just going to, uh, and you just use one of these confirmation messages. Uh, Lifter LMS is just going to display that message or, as Gravity Forms would. Um, if you have auto advancing on um, and no redirect, Lifter LMS will redirect you um, to that, uh, to the next lesson automatically after this confirmation message is displayed. Um, and all notifications will also go off uh, without, without issue. Um, those are just going to show up. Um, as, as expected. Uh, so if you want notifications whenever a student completes a lesson as an admin, you can get those. Um, and if you want to send more granular notifications, you want to use their notifications rather than Lifter LMS notifications, you can. Um, all engagements will still trigger effectively. Um, and we also have a custom engagement related spe uh, specifically for Gravity Forms now that you can, you can hook into. So we've created a form now. Let's go over to Lifter LMS and create a quick course. Um, we'll call this Gravity Forms Powered. Powered, we'll spell that right. Um, I'm not going to do anything here. I'm just going to leave everything at the default, um, and I'm going to publish it. Uh, and then I'm going to enroll myself in this course. Um, oops. I'm going to enroll myself in this course so I can uh, demonstrate some of this functional functionality for you. Um, so we've got one lesson, and that's where we're going to want to go. We we'll go over to our lesson, and we're going to add the Gravity Form that we've created. All these options you can enable or disable as you see fit. Um, we're literally just embedding the short code here. Uh, so before I save this, if we go and look at our lesson, we'll, we'll see there, there's no content here, but there's a mark is complete thing. Um, we could say put some lipsum on here. Um, so then we, we actually have content on our course. So everything just looks normal and, and will function. Um, as is, so you don't need to put a gravity form on your, your lesson uh, just because you enabled it. But so, so all that to say, not all lessons need a gravity form. Um, but since we're going to put one here, once we save that, once the gravity form is present, the form will be displayed um, exactly where you put it, as you would expect. And uh, that mark is complete button at the bottom is gone. So now we have that button that says submit to it. say gravity form is button. Uh, so I, I, I mentioned I, I put a required field here. So that's how you can kind of require validation. Um, this, can, this form cannot be submitted, and therefore this lesson cannot be completed until this form is, is submitted validly. So we'll just put some information in, in all these. We'll check some checkboxes, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll submit the form. 
And uh, oh, there's another problem. Oh, I didn't add the number here. Um, so submit that. And now that that form is submitted, uh, your user will actually never see it again. So it's showing that the lesson is now complete. Um, if we had more, we'd move on. But since we don't, uh, they're just completed. And if we go back to Gravity Forms, we'll see we now have an entry here. Again, this is just base Gravity Form information um, and, uh, and, and, and nothing more. Uh, so that's kind of the base, how to add a form to a lesson and, and what you can do with it. And if you have any questions, please just open a new support request and let us know. Take care.